Guys, I'm going to share this in the chat group and not in the group. Because I don't want... One of the things I did not like... Uh, there was a few things I didn't like about Kathy's group, and I think that that's where it went like this, and then it created a lot of drama. Like maybe Tammy thinks this, or Sarah thinks that, or I think this. You know, when we keep it tight like that, we're keeping those decisions within that place. So there's a loyalty already there that's there, and we know that they're okay. So I think some things need to stay right there for right now. And then as we get to know people, like as you notice, the girl I added, she's not talking. She's not talking. And that's Timmy's friend. And she said she had a lot to say. And if you've noticed, she's kind of standoffish. And I, I, we can't change people. I mean, let's just be honest. We can't change people. But I want to give them, as I go, I feel as a group member, that I want to give them resources. Like, I didn't know about the suicide hotline, that they could call for therapy for free. I had no idea about that. Okay, so I want to, so that issue for me, I think we need to keep that tight for now. I think what we're saying in the group is fine. But I want to tell you something that's always bothered me about Kathy's group. And, and, and we're not in a day and age where we're freaking retarded. We're in a day and age where there's not this little picture up there about truckers' wives and it's all like cute cartoon writing. I think we're older than that. I think we're more mature than that. I think that you don't, we don't need anything high tech. Uh, I think that our picture needs to remain. So when we approve that, I think that's what needs to go in the group. But I think that um, our approach is like, like what Sarah said last night was epic. What are your favorite TV shows? Okay, so let's just say you find a link to all the trucker. Like right now, Ice Road Truckers is really popular. And I get that. And I get that my husband's an Ice Road Trucker. But I'm saying, say you have a link to get those on YouTube to, so they can watch them. And they haven't watched it then you can link that in files. And, and if a girl asks, you can be like, oh, you know, we have an ice road trucker lady. But more importantly, my husband works for Swift. This person works there. But there's like DOT rules. There's like revenue going up in trucking. There's revenue going down. So when the girls start expressing that, you can say it's in files. And members are able to get into those files. It's not anything secret that admin does. And I think that's what makes people feel a part of. The second idea I had, especially the trucker daughter groups, that it's a big deal. I mean, trucker daughters feel very betrayed by their fathers. That's psych 101, man. That's n nothing big. So it's not just when they share. It's having files there that they can go through, weed through, and say, oh, I didn't know somebody made that meatloaf with, oh, I want a recipe. Or say one of the girls makes bread, you know, and it's epic, and she showed a picture of it. We're like, oh, let's keep that. Let's keep that picture and that recipe. And then put it in our file. And, and, and if a girl says, I don't know what to make for dinner, be like, go up to files. There's so many recipes. It's so good. I love the lasagna that somebody made. Or, you know, I love the, like a weight loss shake. Last night I got hit up in private messenger. And she was like, I feel really embarrassed. I'm extremely, you know, overweight. And I want to start a diet. And I know that you deal with that. Um, there's these exercise things that I had. And it was so cool. It was so easy. It was it was easy workouts. Like, I'm not even talking about, like, heavy-duty, you know, power walking and stuff like that. But, like, I have a lots of recipes for, like, things that taste great, but you lose weight. I have, like, you have no idea the stuff that I have. It's just, like, phenomenal. But there's also women I've seen who are, like, taking pictures of their food and going, Yum, yum, you know, and so things that are pertaining to wives, quick, quick meals, like, um, I'm going to try this tonight, you know, and post the recipe. And then we grab that file, we put it up there and we tell our members, there's a, there's a lot of recipes up there. Or there's a lot of links or, Hey, you know, you might be a little too depressed, you know? And so we're supportive about that, right? Somebody's all bummed out. And we talk to her, but we can also link that and say, here, here's the number, and you can definitely use that. And and we would like to see you, you know, if, if it gets in. There's one group member that we have right now, and she's she's going to therapy. And, and that would have been helpful if I would have given her that number because when she flipped out, it was hard to bring her back in. So... We are always supportive, we're always loving, and we always understand each other, and we always listen, and we're always encouraging. Our group right now is like, woo, it's on fire. So I'm talking really fast because I'm trying to cram all this in. It's really doing well. 
Um, one of the things I don't want to do is replicate mistakes that were done in Kathy's group. That's just a no-no for me. I hate it. Um, it was treated kind of like we would suggest things to the group and everybody would be like, yeah, and nothing ever got done. That's why we did the, the chat that night because we kept wanting to do that. And she would say, yeah, 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 but we never did it. And I'm a proactive person. So I started bam, 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 adding everybody like we have the group here. So and I'm, I'm kind of the admin in this group. I can see who's in there. I can delete people. I can do stuff. So I'm only keeping it there. It's kind of a raw group right now. Everybody's talking. We're all really tight. And so as we add girls in, I don't want to be so super tight that they can't jump. That's why I offered that. But if you notice, not everybody wanted to do it. So, so I threw that out as bait to see who wanted to do that. So as of right now, I think the chat should stay this way for right now. And as we grow, that might be a thing. The other reason why I mentioned Google Plus, and I'm going to tell you a lot about that. I use it. It's epic. Once you get the hang of it, it's really great. If you have a Gmail, you can also link it in the files and go, we, you know, there's a Gmail that you can go to and here's all the people that you can add. There's actually a trucker group, not a trucker group, but a trucker, um, like a federal trucker thing. And then there's like, so Google Plus is not like Facebook. You can, they can freely go over there and they can freely add the groups they want, but we could do suggestive groups like the trucker daughter thing. So when they go over there, it has nothing to do with a group that we're doing. It's, it's just a free for all check it out thing. So we could go in Google plus and check it out. And that's where I got the DOT thing. And I was like, wow, I could have used that a long time ago. So that's what Google plus is about. People can post pictures there. There's a hangout. Oh my God. There's so many cool things. Um, but that's them going on their own. We don't have to do that as a group. We don't have to make a group there right now, but we could later if we wanted to. I make YouTube videos, and that's something very important to me. Um, everybody doesn't have to do that. But there may be a, a, like a gardener, like I am in the group. There could be a girl who cross-stitches. See? And so when she shows something like that or her children, I think that goes into photos, and it would be really cute to instead of just keep explaining I have a two-year-old I have a 14 year old I have a fit you could actually in files go this is Donna and this is her family yeah and they can put that anytime they want to it's not an admin thing that's super cool and I like that it made me feel like I was a part of the group it never made me feel like admin kicked me out or made me they were spying it didn't feel that way it felt like I was very interactive and that's why they got the award well, including the cat fact that they make the most artistic freaking things ever. I mean, you have no idea. They would make a vegan dish that looked like, I don't know, Top Chef. So there's recipes, there's hobbies, there's links that I've seen people throw up and then you never see it again. Those are things that any member can grab and go to files and look at it and click it and go, we have a file for that. And as girls are coming in, they're going to bring different attributes. And I think those attributes are important. And I think that we have recipes, we have weight loss issues. We have, you know, everybody's like, go into the gym and just freaking work out. That's not cool. I mean, yeah, work out. That's for some girls, but that doesn't work for everybody. Like for me, I don't like going to the gym. I like to do my own workouts at home. So it's not just about adding YouTube links, but if you see a YouTube on a really cute uh, song that you love for and you think it relates to truck driving, link it in the files. And admin can do that, but you can go see the files as a regular member and you can grab that link and you can go, thank you. And you can continue to add things into chat, but if one of those things are great and we're there, so when admin's gone, you can tell that person, it's over in files, it's epic, I'll give you the link. So we're going to find out that some women crochet, we're going to find out that some women sew, we're going to find out that people make their own laundry soap. All that shit is fucking epic. And I think it should be consolidated and I think we should grab it as a, as a member and say, here's the recipe for that. Or here's the thing for making laundry soap that'll cut your cost down. So in case they're new and they're not making money, here's the thing. Here's that thing. Another thing was our group picture. 
there was like a little house next to a trucker wives group. I didn't like that. Trucker wives united. It's like, can we make it something else? Like a flower? Or something? I don't know. Um, a gear shifter? Or, I don't know. Those are little things that I think really make the group more specific and, and more interactive and we're a little more techie, you know? And um, I'm good with certain kinds of social media. I don't know every form. I don't think you should have a Twitter. There's just too much spamming. There's too much weirdness. That would just be overwhelming. Um, but I think that it would be nice to have that you can direct them to like the trucker trucker wives daughter the trucker daughters group. If we see one on Facebook that we really like and we think it's flowing right, we can link that. And be like, here, let your daughter see this. And she can be a part of that on Facebook, even if she's like 12 or 13. As long as they're keeping it not, you know, like tr maybe trucker daughter groups, whatever. We don't have to make these groups, but we can give them the resource. And like sometimes I've seen you guys put things on there. And if Kathy would have snatched that up and put it in a file, I wouldn't have to keep asking about it. So it creates this this whole community. We're a community, whether anybody wants to address that or not. We are a community. And as it grows, we are going to get to know each other. And we're going to know each other's um, needs. We're going to know each other's hobbies. We're going to know each other's um, issues. Last night I got asked about weight loss. She was very shy and embarrassed. And, and I understand that. You know, it's embarrassing. And... and uh, so I think that's important. I'm going to, I'm going to share this in the group chat. I'm going to make sure I hit all the points. And I just think for right now, let's kind of tighten it. I don't think we should be a, as afraid as we, I think right now we're cautious. Rightfully so. We went through a lot of shit. Um, also, I think they went through a purge also. I think they went through a purge. Um, we're over it. I mean, have you noticed we're over it? We're so over it. So, I need a cigarette. <laughs> With all this pain, I need a cigarette. Um, God, I went from smoking three cigarettes a day to smoking like 50. So, this is my thing for the group. Okay, let me just show you, okay? It's really cool. Do you see these cookies? Those cookies are the most weight lossy cookies ever, and they taste just like a sweet, chewy snickerdoodle. Okay, you know how many times I've taken a picture of that and given it to people? Uh, a lot. So, I'm doing this in the group chat. I'm not going to put it in the regular group. Not because they can't handle it. It's just something we're working the kinks out of. So, why not? If somebody has a picture of their meal and they want to tell us the recipe, we'll be like, yay, we're going to put that in files. We think that was, like, epic. It looked great. It tasted, oh, my God, let's do it. Um, you can even link, uh, there's videos where women are blogging on, um, about being a truck driver wife or the, the struggles of a woman or whatever. Mm. You could also go at other Facebook groups for trucker, trucker things and they might share something there that other wives are in touch with. And if you like that link and you think it's imperative that we have it, then stick it. Let's put it in a file. Let admin put it in a file and then we'll always have it. I think that's like one of the most important things and our kind of like community emblem, you know, who we are, you know, that people are going to see when we, we close it. Right now we're secretive, and I think that that's good, and I think that, you know, we're doing a great job, and, and um, but I found a lot of resources, and, and then I was copying and pasting, and I was sticking it in the chat, and then I was like, where did it go, and then, blah, blah. so I want to do the files. I also found something else in admin, and I was like, oh my god, admin can name people. I, I couldn't believe it. It was so cool. And it's like you can name them the editor. I mean, isn't that cool? Because, like, let me give you an example of somebody that I know and that does these great things. Kitsy is, like, one of the greatest photographers I've ever seen. I swear to God, she could take a picture of a flower and it looks like something that, that's like outer space. You can make her, the like, an editor or like the photographer or the whatever. So everyone kind of has a label, you know, not every single person, but you can be like, Hey, that's our photography girl. And you will never forget it, you know? And so we may want to do that later. And admin is, is give people a title, you know, that's freaking cool. I think it, it, 
it depends on how many people get into admin pile. I mean, if panel is, is, I mean, is it putting everybody in admin? I think that's what Kathy made her mistake on was everybody was admin and favoritism and all that stuff. But you can actually name people. I seen it last night. I don't know how it works, but we could figure that out. So there's a lot of ideas I have. I'm very creative and I like the creativity of access to women. There's some women that cross stitch. What if she's cross stitching and another woman wants to know about it? And we seen a picture she or you know a cross stitch pattern she did and it was epic. Or somebody makes a quilt, or somebody knows how to make laundry soap, like one of the girls in the old group. Well, she should have a recipe there. Saves money, right? Um, mm, what to do with hamburger in twenty minutes? We see the recipe, we like it, share it. So that's my thing on the files. I really like that. I found out the new thing on on giving people like titles. I think that's really cool. And I think that, I don't know if they're all going into admin, but, you know, maybe me and Sarah can figure it out. But I also want other members to put their 10 sets in. The new group that, the new girl that got, that I added, she's not saying anything, if you've noticed. And I don't know, I'm going to take her out of chat because maybe that's overwhelming her, but. She said, you know, she, she jumped right in there and she said something and then she got really quiet. And it's like, I don't like that. I think that we're not engaging her in some way, but we can't, you know, make sure every single person's engaged. I remember in the big group, Deb did say something right in the beginning. She said, the more you share, the closer you get. In other words, if you just sit back, even out of 30,000 members, she had people that never said anything. And, but then they jump in. And be like, oh, I relate, oh, I need that, or I relate to that, or whatever. So, we're doing good at that. And I think for it, as small as we are, like, it's everybody's chatting, everybody's talking, everybody's a part of. And I think that's freaking epic. So, as we go, we need to grow. Not just grow women, but I think we need to grow as a group and, and have more resources and have more things that they could possibly lead. Somebody just came to me about therapy, you know, and it's like... It's important. It is. I'm sorry. It is. And we want to get them connected to maybe there's a blog. I mean, I don't know. We can't create all those groups, but we could lead them in that direction. Or um, we don't have to check it out. I mean, we can just say, hey, you know, maybe their husband needs a place to go that he likes to, you know, talk to other truck drivers. I don't know. But I'm just saying I think that should be opened. And this is kind of like my niche. And so this is what I'm trying to suggest is I think that we should maybe start building that. And you can't alphabetize the files. It can be very confusing, especially when there's 5,000. But you know it's there. And you know you've shared it before. So there it is. Um, instead of having to go back and go to Google and put it in and then copy link it. and then So, you know, the file thing is really cool. And I think admin does do that. Um, it's kind of hard to understand. Like, I don't, everybody has problems with doing that. So we need to figure that out. Second, we need to give them resources. Third, if it's something that we want to keep, you know, it's something really cool. Maybe somebody's making cookies. You have no idea. So I think that creates deeper relationships. When the, when the file actually, um, or when the link comes up or whatever, it, it'll say who did it. Like maybe it was, Tammy, Donna, Sarah, Cindy, you know, Melissa, you know, I mean, a new group member, Candy, you know, Susie Q. I mean, I think those things are important. And it says who posts that recipe. So if they have problems with that, they can go to that person. Yeah, isn't that cool? I think it's cool. Um, my YouTube videos, I don't think they should have every link to it, but they can join as a subscriber. I mean, and I need to file that too. I need to put it in chunks like this is for truck drivers, this is this, right? Um, there was a new girl that was doing YouTube videos for her child. I thought that was so cool. It was like, man, kids, it's very interactive. Maybe you had a recipe for making baby food. You know, it's hard for me to keep track of all the girls and how, what kids they have. Except for like Sarah. I know she has Junior. Like, I know him because my daughter just had a baby. But sometimes I forget who has what age child. So it's like, oh, share who you are. You know how hard that is? It's like... <clears throat> this person tells her story, right? And then you forget, it. I forget about it. And then I'm like, oh, does she, does he work for Swift or does he? So you could do that little profile of that person and grab that 
copy it and put it in a file. I think it's it's just it's cool. It's cool. And you'll start remembering. And I remember because in that big group, that's what they did. And it was freaking cool as hell. There was a girl there that made jewelry. Yeah. And she had a like an Etsy and she was like, sh she wanted people to buy it. And it was like, that's cool. So I think everybody should get in their um, whatever they're good at. And we should save those things and put them somewhere. And I think that that makes the group stronger. That's just my opinion. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but that's me as an admin. I think that needs to happen. Like Sarah's working on her picture and Kitsy's like, I'm going to work on that too because she's a good photographer. She knows how to edit really well. So, you know, it's not just making somebody admin. We trust them and then there's this secret. I hate that. Well, me and Sarah are admins right now. We're not more important than anyone else. Everybody's still very important. But I think we should give them more and be super interactive and make sure every girl, and we're still going to have quiet ones, there's girls that don't just don't want to put their junk out there. So maybe if we engage them on a different level, you know, they can really feel a part of it. So that's my spin. I'm talking really fast. I have a lot to do today. And I just wanted you to know my opinion. And this is my element. And I'll probably set this one to private on YouTube. I don't think, you know, everybody in the world needs to hear about this. So. Um, that's what I feel. That's what I know. Like I make my own makeup out of food. That video is cool, man. You get like a beat and it makes blush. You can dry them and everybody all has blush forever. Ah, that's cool. You buy a beat. There's masks. There's so much stuff. So I think that would be cool, and I think you all will appreciate it too, and we can do it slowly. I think slowly girls are coming in. They're newer. I, don't, I didn't like when Kathy did their picture of their Facebook. I think that encouraged people to go more private with people. Right now, I'm having a trouble with my Facebook because there's so many women in there that I don't know, and I'm going to have to sit there with each and every one of them and go, you got to go. You got to go. You got to go. So I think Kitsy's a very important part. I think she brings an element of humor. I think she brings an element of uh, empathy. And I think she brings an, and she runs Timmy's group. Timmy's stupid. He does stupid stuff, but she's doing admin there. And I think that um, Kitsy's one of those people, and I'm using her as an example of, of steady, eddy, strong lady. But do you see right now she's you know having a little bit of a problem, but that's why we're there. Um, so yeah, that's what I think. I'm going to, I'm going to rewatch this and make sure I covered it all. And, and I think that labeling people is so cool. It's like, you're the editor of the group. You're the, this of the group, you know, it's just, it's cute. You know, there's a bunch of titles and we'd have to figure that out. Maybe we won't do it at all. You know, maybe all these ideas are just a wash, but I think we should have files for sure. For sure. If you've noticed, we have a lot of photos. So when we add a girl, we need to be like, the files are here. This is how you do it. And we even create a document to explain how to do it because a lot of people don't know how to go there. Here's our file where there's recipes and this and that. And then all our group members have their little storyline of who they are. And, you know, da da da. Um, instead of waiting for them to get to know somebody, da da da. And then go up there and be like, oh, that girl has a two year old? Cool. You know, and. And so it's cool when they can go up there and you say, please go to up to files. There's a lot of resources there. Um, we have a photography, you know, all our photos that we've posted are up there. You know, please, please feel, up, up, uh, you know, free to go look at those things and please, please feel free to, you know. So sometimes when me and Sarah are not there, you know, we can't just look at this one person and go, hey, can you make sure that gets taken care of? Because sometimes you're taking care of kids. You're going to sleep. Your husband came in. Whatever. So, you know, that's, I think that's cool. I think that's giving everyone a, a place to be and they can function in the whole person that they are instead of just the trucker wives. And I think everybody has something to offer. Like I can make a watermelon um, cucumber water. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, but, you know, somebody wants that. So... I like that. I think it makes people feel a part of. I think it makes new people look up and say, oh, there's different things here and they all work together and I really I want to try that recipe or whatever. So 
it can grow as we go. And we need to grow as a group, not just with women, but grow within each other. And I think it's cool. So it's not just Google Plus. It's like it's it's really about resources and who we are and what we share and and our families and 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 you know, yeah. <laughs> we can copy and paste that whole comment section and put it in a file and go. These are the group members now, and feel free to look at it. Then you're directing them. So when I first joined that big group, she was like, "Go to files." And I went up there and I was like, this is cool, how to make taco seasoning. I didn't know how to do that. So, yeah, it's cool. How to use, uh, it's just crazy. Crazy. So, instead of leaning into me all the time or Sarah or Tammy or all that, you know, make everybody feel like they can do that. I think that's cool. So tell me what you think, and if we want to wash this whole thing, that's fine. It's going to take time to do it. I love it. The group's doing well. I think the Kathy thing simmered down. I think she changed the name again. I, she might have done some stuff. I don't know, but I need to start deleting some of these double girls off my Facebook. I really don't like it. I don't want them around me. I don't. So that's my thoughts. How to make a macchiato coffee. What about that? Whatever. Love it. <laughs>